There's so much blindness. Second Corinthians chapter 11 and verse number 2. You know, he's talking about your mind. And he said, your mind can be seduced from wholeheartedly and sincerely service to God. We can be seduced. I minister in so many different places and are called by many different people. And genuinely, people seem hungry for the word of God. But their hunger is not deep enough. I want, to, I want us to go to the book of John for a few minutes tonight. Because that's, that's the message that the Lord has given me for the house tonight. He said, my people seem so hungry. Yet something's wrong because they still won't stand for me. And they still can't hear when I'm calling them out of stuff. And they still can't hear when I'm trying to call them into stuff. My people are not or don't have the right hunger for me today. John chapter 6, and I want to start at verse 22. John chapter 6 and verse 22. Bless your word, Father. Hallelujah. It says, on the following day, when the people who were standing on the other side of the sea saw that there was no other boat there except that one which his disciples had entered and that Jesus had not entered the boat with his disciples. But his disciples had gone away alone. However, other boats came from Tiberias near the place where they ate bread after the Lord had given thanks. When the people therefore saw that Jesus was not there, nor his disciples, they also got into boats and came to Capernaum seeking Jesus. Now, people were searching for the Lord. It looked like they were really seeking for him. Verse 25 says, And when they found and when they found him on the other side of the sea, they said to him, Rabbi, when did you come here? Jesus answered them and said, Most assuredly I say to you, you seek me, not because you saw the because you saw the signs, but because you ate of the loaves and were filled. Do not labor for the food which perishes, but for the food which endures to everlasting life, which the Son of Man will give you because God the Father has set his seal on him. Then they said to him, What shall we do that we may work the works of God? Jesus answered and said to them, This is the work of God that you believe in him whom he sent. Therefore they said to him, what sign will you perform that we may see it and believe you? What work will you do? Now mind you, I want to pause right there for a minute because this was right after they had seen Jesus feed the 5,000 from a small paper bag. Just a cup, a little bit of something. He fed 5,000. Now, if it was me, I would probably say, well, what more do you want me to do? You just saw a miracle. As a matter of fact, you've been following me long enough. You've seen several miracles. What else do you want me to do? Yeah. What else can I do in order for you to believe on me? Yeah. I hear him saying that to us today, too. Yeah. I've done so much in your life. Yeah. What else do you want me to do to show you my love for you? To show you my desire for your life and the purpose that I have for your life. What else do I need to do? How much more can I give of myself that would cause you to yield to me? So that I can transform and change your life and your mind and your heart and your spirit. So that you can become what I desire you to become in this life. Preparing for the next. Yeah. Hallelujah. They're looking at him. What, what will you do? Verse 31 says, Our fathers ate the manna in the desert. As it is written, he gave them bread from heaven to eat. Then Jesus said to them, Most assuredly I say to you, Moses did not give you the bread from heaven, 
But my Father gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is he who comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. Then they said to him, Lord, give us this bread also. Now doesn't it sound like they are really seeking after the heart of God? Lord, give us this bread that you're talking about. But I want you to know as we read on, you'll notice that their hunger disappears. They said, give us this bread, Lord. And Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me shall never hunger, and he who believes in me shall never thirst. But I said to you that you have seen me, and yet do not believe. All that the Father gives me will come to me. And the one who comes to me, I will by no means cast out. For I have come down from heaven, not to do my own will, but the will of him who sent me. This is the will of the Father who sent me, that all he has given me, I should lose nothing, but should raise it up at the last day. And this is the will of him who sent me, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him may have everlasting life, and I will raise him up at the last day. Now watch this. The Jews then complained about him. You know, a few minutes before, Lord, give us this bread. And in the next minute, complaining. And they were complaining because they got all twisted up because he said, I am the bread which came down from heaven. And they said, is this not Jesus, the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know? How is it that he says, I come down from heaven? They got all messed up because they could only see him in the natural. Now, I know you, I know where you came from, I know what you used to do, and I've seen the miracles that you do, and I see the anointing on your life, but I find it hard to believe that it's God. I still, even with all that's going on, even with the total 180 degree turn that you've seen done in my life, you still got a problem seeing the anointing of God. Stop. 